Hey folks, it's Tim here from Lumberjack Camper Trailers and today we're going to run you through the Joanna. With its king size forward fold bed and a lounge suite that converts to more bed space, whether it's for retirees, couples or even families, the Joanna ticks all the boxes. Let's take a good look inside. So when it comes to camping, it's all about the outdoor living. And with the Joanna, our nice big stainless steel kitchen is gonna be absolutely perfect with that in mind. So behind me, I've got this nice large sink here. Now the sink is plumbed with hot and cold water to the tap, and that comes via our 100 litre water tank that's dedicated to the kitchen. We've also got a second 65 litre water tank that's plumbed to the nose of the trailer, and that's ideal for running an ensuite shower and that sort of thing as well. Behind the sink here, I've got this utility cabinet. Over this side here, I've got the nice big four burner stove with a piezo ignition on each one of those stove tops there. We've got our nice big cutlery drawer, another utility drawer here too, and this nice large big prep space or serving space off the side. Behind me here, I've got the kitchen light. I've also got here a couple of 12 volt outlets. I've got the USB and the SIG plug adapter in there too. I have also can operate my two water pumps from the switches behind me here as well. Let's take a look up the front. Now moving up to the front of the camper trailer, this is where our fridge box lives. So the fridge, we've got a nice big fridge storage in here. The fridge slide also comes with its own dedicated power, which means when the camper trailer's all packed up, it's still going to be delivering power to your fridge, keeping your food and drinks nice and cold. Again, because of the big king size bed here, it gives us this extra space up the front. So we've got a dedicated storage up here, ideal for camp chairs and things like that. And we've got the double pantry drawers in the Joanna. Perfect for the dry goods, pots, pans, and all those sorts of bits and pieces too. Again, because of the extra space, I've got the dedicated pole storage. The nice thing about that is means I don't have to keep my poles up here or in multiple locations. All of my annex uh, and awning poles can all live in here, so I'm not rummaging around trying to find those poles when it comes time to set up. Also, because of this extra space, it gives me a little bit of extra storage in the bulkhead, and we'll show you that inside in just a second. So when it comes to the Joanna, we're definitely living in style inside here. We've got the full wraparound lounge with leatherette um, seat cushions. This table here in front of me, we can move that around. It also drops down to become more bed space here if we need to. So for those families or, or the grandparents that want to bring the grandkids along or friends or whatever that might be too. Um, in the bulkhead here, because we have the larger king size bed behind me, it gives us that extra 200 mil in the trailer compared to some of the smaller models. So the nice thing about that is I've got uh, my double drawers in here. I've also got the two cabinets in the front here too, which is ideal for those everyday items. So we can be living out of the trailer and not actually out of a bag. Behind me, the nice big king size bed. Memory foam mattress nice and comfy. I've got uh, all the LED lights inside this trailer all included so we've got the, the lights in the main cabin and in the bedroom and we've also got one down here in the footwell as well. Um, inside we've got the stereo so the stereo system uh, we run off a DVD, CD, USB, Bluetooth, AM, FM radio of course. We've got the two speakers down here too. We've got a couple of outlets, 12 volt outlets down here. We've got the USB and the SIG plug as well. Um, also down below here we've got on the control panel we've got our our ba uh, battery monitor, so that matches, uh, sorry, measures your battery as a percentage. Also, it gives you a voltage readout too. And I've also got the two water um, tank gauges as well for your front and rear tanks, so you can check the levels on that. Uh, in the Joanna, it comes with two 100 amp hour deep cycle century batteries, so you've got plenty of juice to live off the grid. Um, inside the trailer itself here, when we go to set it up, the rear bed, uh, sorry, the, the rear poles and the front bed poles are on gas struts. So when we open it, they just pop up on their own. I lift up the levels here in the main cabin and then I've only got four poles that I need to put in the roof to get tension and we are absolutely done. So as far as setup concerned, it's super, super easy. And one final thing about that I've got to talk about with the main cabin in here, which is a real winner with the Joanna, actually with all of the Lumberjack camper trailers, in fact, would have to be the um, alfresco windows. So not only do we have the nice big alfresco opening on this side, as you can see here, but I've got this nice big alfresco window here behind me. So on those warmer nights or hot days, I can open it all up, let all the air flow through, uh, which makes it nice and comfortable. But if we do need to zip down and keep those mozzies or midges away, we can bring those down. All of the windows have got midge proof mesh inside them. Um, they've also can be double zipped, so we can zip them from the inside or the outside. So if I've got this all open up of a night time and the weather turns nasty, I don't have to go outside to close up all the windows. I can simply zip up from inside, which makes that a nice little feature too. So comforts, we're ticking all the boxes inside this Joanna here. Let's take a look up the nose and see some of the other features. Okay, so moving up to the front of the Joanna here, we've got our off-road polyblock hitch. Now the polyblock hitch is gonna give you the articulation you need when you're off the beaten track. 
The drawbar is a 100 by 50 by 4 mil thick steel and it's hot dip galvanised for extra corrosion protection. The drawbar goes all the way back to the suspension subframe and it's welded and bolted and tied into that subframe. Now the suspension on the Joanna here is uh, running an independent suspension. It's a coil sprung with dual shock absorbers as well, which is great for on and off road. The Joanna comes with a good ride mud terrain tyre as standard, or you can upgrade those to Goodyear all terrains too. Um, also back to the front here, we've got the water outlet that I mentioned earlier. So this is plumbed straight into the 65 litre front tank. Perfect for setting up an ensuite tent for a shower when you're living off grid. We've got our stone guard here and behind the stone guard, we've got the dual jerry can holders and dual gas bottle holders too. Also standard on all the Lumberjack camper trailers is the Anderson plug up the front. Now the Anderson plug can be plugged into your vehicle, which means it's gonna charge your batteries while you're traveling along. Or you can also set that up with a regulated solar panel, plug that in when you're living off grid and that's gonna charge your batteries too. So on the other side of the Joanna, we've got our two 100 amp hour deep cycle Sentry batteries. This also houses our main breaker setup and also our main battery kill switch too. Remembering that even when the battery kill switch is shut off, it's still gonna deliver power to your uh, fridge slide, so it means that your fridge will keep running even when you're parked up. As we're moving down here, we've got our Good Ride Mud Terrain tyres as standard, our two water tank fillers too. We've got additional storage up the front, a nice big storage box there, which you can also access from under the lounge area inside. The continuation of our pole storage here, and also this camper trailer is fitted up with a uh, optional 240 volt power inlet. Nice big deep storage drawer on this side. Our continuation of the top storage there, as I mentioned before, perfect for chairs and things like that. And on the other side of our fridge slide, we've got this large storage area here. Good idea uh, would be throw a generator. If your generator campers, that can go in there or any bulky items, or as you can see, as we've got it set up here, we've got the annex included as well. This camper trailer here is also fitted up with our optional cargo rack fitted up here. So there it is guys, the Joanna. Let's do a little quick recap on it. So we've got the king size forward fold bed, which has the memory foam mattress in it. The rear lounge area can drop down to convert to more bed space if we need. Onboard power is provided by two 100 amp hour deep cycle batteries. As far as our water storage goes, we've got the two tanks. We've got our rear 100 litre water tank plus our front 65 litre water tank, both separately plumbed and with their own uh, pump as well. The kitchen, full stainless steel kitchen. We've got hot and water plumbed to the tap there, four burner stove, dedicated cutlery drawer, dedicated utensil drawer, and a slide out prep space on the end. Uh, inside, we've got the quick setup poles with the uh, on gas struts. Also, remember we only needed those four poles to go on the roof and we are absolutely ready to go. 14 ounce canvas, um, we've got the dual zip windows inside and outside, midgy mesh uh, on the screens there too. Look, it's an absolute fantastic camper trailer. The Joanna would have to be one of our more popular options. The king size bed is a real winner. So if you're looking for something super simple to set up, um, living in luxury there, a little bit of extra space and, and good on storage, the Joanna is definitely one to consider. So if you'd like to see more pictures, have a look on the website. We've got a big gallery there. All the specs are listed on the website too. Or how about you give one of us a call here at the showroom. Uh, you can give us a buzz, our numbers on the website, or even shoot us a message in the chat down below. And we'd be more than happy to have a talk to you about the Joanna. We look forward to talking to you then. Thanks guys.